Well, we've heard of a number of ideas to improve it. You know, first we had the red line, and now we hear about the Baltimore link. So just how bad is transportation in our city? Well, the report card is out, and ABC2 News' Katrina Bush found out it doesn't look so good, does it? Yeah, guys, well, the report came from the Central Maryland Transportation Alliance. They looked at a number of different factors to come up with a grade, and the average was a D. What does a great transportation system look like? That was the question the Transportation Alliance tried to answer as they looked at the systems Baltimore has in place. The group looked at its market research and relied on feedback. And it would use the whole system more, especially the bus, if it were more dependable. But the reliability of the current system is poor. Reliability was just one problem. The Transportation Alliance president says poor performing system can limit economic growth. It cuts off options for where people can live and work and contributes to pollution and chronic disease. The group looked at 12 indicators to come up with the 2015 transportation report card. We earned a D average. This is simply unacceptable. Anyone who cares about this region knows that we can do better, and transportation is something we can fix if we put the right resources and the right strategies in place. Governor Larry Hogan scrapped the east to west red line proposal in the summer and instead announced a plan to move forward with Baltimore Link. The $135 million plan includes high tech buses along with 12 new color coded MTA routes in the city. Right now, there are open house style workshops to answer questions about that plan. The goal is to stop those all too common complaints about getting around in the city. I look forward to a time like when I was a kid when you just walked to the corner and caught the bus. The next Baltimore Link workshop starts at 6 o'clock tonight and ends at 8 at Owings Mills Library. We have a link to the workshop schedule that goes through December at abc2news.com.